Hello everyone, Gebatron here. Hell Let Loose has finally officially released with Update 10. Yay! The update has introduced the Soviet armed forces to the game and that means new air support to learn how to identify. I have already made a guide to the Western Front air assets so I'll have that video in the end screen so make sure to check that one out after this. Being able to identify enemy air assets can help you understand how the battlefield is evolving, get an idea of what the enemy is planning, and help you react accordingly, so it's pretty important to learn. You will benefit. Here we are as the German commander so we can access the commander orders by hitting the M key to bring up our map. We won't cover all these in detail here, but I'll most likely make an updated video about these soon, so subscribe and stay tuned. Let's start from the top. The first form of air support is Establish Airhead. The airhead is a temporary spawn that's dropped via air and costs you 400 manpower to call in. Learn more about what resources are used for in the top right hand corner. You can drop these anywhere in friendly territory, but it's almost always used as a way to get behind enemy lines. Note that you cannot drop this in locked enemy territory. So in this example, we can drop it in rows three and four, but not rows one and two. The map will have a green hue when an item can be placed. So let's place our airhead where we want it and click on the little radio set to confirm the order. On the left, the Germans use the Heinkel or HE-111, while the Soviets use the Li-2. I'm not sure about the specific variants on this one, so make sure to tell us what you think in the comments. They are both two-engine aircraft flying at a lower altitude, but there are some pretty stark differences in the wings and tail sections, not to mention the markings on the wings of the HE-111. Here's another good shot where we can see differences specifically in wing shape and width. Also note that the devs have done a lot to upgrade the HE-111 model since the last video. Now let's look at the airhead itself. Nothing has changed here and the same asset is used for every faction in the game. A pallet of boxes with a red parachute. Airheads can turn the tide of a match in minutes. So make sure you are identifying these and hunting them down or you could be in for a big surprise. Here is what they look like on the map. And here's a quick little tip. Press the enter key when the map is open to expand the map key. And press enter again to minimize it. Moving on to the supply drop. With this you can drop 100 supplies anywhere on the map. Perfect for offensive garrisons and the first two rows as you can't drop supplies from a truck here. In this example rows 9 and 10. Be careful though because these are quite visible to the enemy. They cost 50 of the munitions resource to call in. Same two planes, same low altitude. So let's move on to the actual supply asset. Some pretty noticeable differences here. The German supply container is shaped like a torpedo and has a red parachute, while the Soviet one is a rectangular bundled package. Supply drops are probably the most common form of air support you'll see over the battlefield as enemy COs will drop them where they need nodes, defenses, and garrisons built. I always make it a point to tell my teammates where these drop and hunt them down to destroy them whenever possible. Next up is the recon plane which can be called in to briefly surveil the battlefield. Learn more about these including how you can hide from them in the top right hand corner. 
That's right, you can hide from them, which is why it's so important to be able to identify them before they spot you. Recon planes can be placed anywhere on the map and their approach angle can be changed by clicking inside the on map icon. They cost 150 munitions to call in. Make sure to check out that other video to learn more about recon planes. The Germans use the FW-189 Uhu. Not sure if it's the A-1 or A-2 variant though. The Soviets here use the PE-2R. I got the PE-2 info straight from the devs, so it is the R variant. Lots of differences here, especially in the wing shape and tail section shape. Big color differences too. Also note that these planes are at a higher altitude. Recon planes are almost always followed by strafing runs or bombing runs. Which brings us to strafing runs. These also cost 150 munitions and pepper the target area with large caliber MG and cannon fire. You can place them anywhere and you can change their approach angle. Now by the time you find and identify these it's probably already too late as they come in super fast. The Germans get the legendary BF-109, while the Soviets get the dreaded IL-2. Again, let us know what variants you think these are in the comments. The most notable difference I see is the nose color. Other than that, the IL-2 is larger. What differences do you see? Strafing runs don't damage armor, but they do damage trucks and they rip up infantry. The Germans can also call in a bombing run while the Russians call in a Katyusha rocket strike. We'll look at these two separately. Bombing runs can be placed anywhere and their angle of attack can be changed. They are pretty expensive at 300 munitions but do a massive amount of damage. They also take a little longer to show up than the other forms of air support. Enemy COs will usually use these right before a big offensive, so if you survive one by taking cover, you better brace yourself for an incoming assault. Here we are back to the HE-111, but you'll notice it's at a much higher altitude. And I almost get myself killed. Make sure you let friendlies know about incoming bombing runs so this doesn't happen to them. So the Russian counterpart for the German bombing run is the Katyusha strike. This calls in truck mounted rockets from an off map location. It isn't as precise and dense as the bombing run, but it does cover a much larger area, lasts longer, and has a quicker cooldown period. It takes a similar amount of time to show up as the bombing run. Let's just sit back and enjoy the show. Well, we all know Director Krennic approves, but what about you? How are you all enjoying the new update and official release of Hell Let Loose? Do you think the bombing run or the rocket strike is better? Let us all know down in the comments. Learning what's going on in the skies can help you win by helping you make decisions and reacting to the evolving battlefield. I hope you all learned something new and enjoyed the video. 
please like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget about the video description for more links. There's a PayPal link down there to help support the channel, as well as Game Punch community links and links to other videos. How many times can I say links? Check out these other air support related videos. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.